New at four, the remains of what is believed to be a Cleveland man were found by a contractor, and now he's hoping to reunite those remains with a loved one. Our Kira Cotton joins us live now with the details of this discovery, Kira, and what's next here? Hey, good afternoon, Laura. Michael Africa has been remodeling homes with his brothers for years, but this is a job that he's never had quite like this one. After being hired to help remodel a home in the 500 block of East 126th Street, Michael and the home's new owner found what they believed are the remains of Michael Ingram. They found those remains in the basement of the home inside of a gold tin inside of a cardboard box that was etched with his name and the death date of March 20th, 1977. Now, Michael and the home owner are now on the quest to find any of Mr. Ingram's loved ones. Now they've checked with their local community and the funeral home that was listed on the box, but were unable to find any answers. So Michael turned to social media in hopes of spreading the word. Michael Ingram was born in 1950. You know, he died in 1977. And I know somebody, you know, want they, although they cremated, although they're dead, they want they, that closure. I would think that. Michael and the homeowner have been searching for answers for months, and they hope to reunite the remains with a loved one as soon as possible. Now, if you think you have any information on how to reunite Mr. Ingram's remains with family and friends, please let me know. You can email me at kcotton at wkyc.com. Laura. All right, Kira. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.